Hey everybody. This is kind of a fun lesson. Um, it just deals in patterns, and do you recognize the pattern that's going to happen here? So let's think about perimeters and areas of similar figures. If there is a pattern of similar figures from the last section with relation to their sides, let's just do a quick review of last section. Similar shapes are the same shape, but not necessarily the same size. You know you have similar shapes if two things are true. One, all the angles are equal. Two, all the corresponding sides must be proportional. All right, so we had a situation like this where we had a large uh, triangle and a small triangle. We wanted to know if they were similar. First thing we did was check to see if all the corresponding sides were congruent. Excuse me, all the corresponding angles were equal. We noticed that the 57 and the 57 were equal, the 33 and the 33 were equal, and the right angle and the right angle were equal. So we were all set. As far as the sides went, we had to set them up to see if they made proportions. Since proportions are fractions that equal fractions, we had to see if the corresponding sides would all make the same fraction. Sorry, I have no idea why that changed color. So we set up all the numbers. Notice all the small numbers are up top from the small shape, 10, 6, and 8. All the large triangle numbers are down below, 15, 9, and 12. And you'll notice that the corresponding sides are the numerators and the denominators. Notice the hypotenuse was the 15, and so we used the hypotenuse as the 10. We simplified these and realized that we had a very common ratio of 2 to 3, or 2 thirds. So how are we going to use this with perimeter? Well, let's think about it. If you have a similar perimeter, they say it's similar when the ratio of the perimeters is equal to the ratio of the corresponding side lengths. If you realize that ratio means fraction, you say that when the fraction of the perimeters is equal to the fraction of the corresponding side lengths. Let's see what happens. Does everyone agree that we had two-thirds, two-thirds, and two-thirds from the corresponding sides? Well, let's think about what the perimeters would be. The perimeter of the small. Well, 10 plus 8 plus 6 is 24. The perimeter of the large. 15 plus 9 plus 12, 36. If I were to simplify this, guess what fraction I'd get? two-thirds. And notice that the ratio of the perimeters is the exact same ratio of the side lengths. If you think about that, it actually makes sense. Because all the side lengths are two-thirds, if you added up all the side lengths, again, the ratio would stay two-thirds. Kind of a neat pattern, huh? All right, let's check out what the if area has a relationship. It is said that similar areas are similar when the ratio of their areas is equal to the square of the ratio of the corresponding side lengths. Let's see what that means. Keyword square. Well, once again, I hope everyone realizes that the side lengths became two thirds. So let's see what happens with area. In order to do this, you have to remember how to get the area of a triangle. So go back into that fifth grade knowledge and realize that you multiply the 12 times the 9 and divide it by 2. You multiply the 6 and the 8 and divide it by 2. So the area of the small would be 6 times 8, which is 48, divided by 2 gets me 24. The area of the large, 9 times 12, which is 108, divided by 2 is 54. If we simplify this, we can divide both of them by 6, and notice, we get 4 over 9. But 4 over 9 doesn't equal 2 over 3, but that's not what it said. We know that the area is the square of the corresponding sides. So if we square this, what am I going to get? You got it. 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 3 is 9. Notice that if you square the corresponding side lengths, you can find out what the proportion is for the areas. Kind of a neat pattern. Let's practice. So I don't even have to tell you all the sides for you to be able to figure out what the corresponding perimeters and the corresponding areas are. All you have to do is find out what are, what is the ratio of the sides. I set it up 7 over 14. I simplify it to 1 half. So what would be my perimeter ratio? Well, it's the exact same thing as the sides, so it's 1 half. What would be my area ratio? Well, all I have to do is square my side. 
and I end up getting one fourth. Pretty simple, huh? Can you do this one? Step one, find the side ratio. Okay, I'm back. Notice you'd get 6 over 15, simplify it, divide by 3, divide by 3, and you get 2 fifths. So what would the ratio for the perimeter be? You guessed it, 2 fifths. And what would the uh, ratio for the area be? All I have to do is square it. 2 times 2 is 4, 5 times 5 is 25. And you get your area. Kind of neat. We have a word problem. If you have the height of figure A is 9 feet and the height of figure B is 12 feet, what is the ratio of perimeter A compared to perimeter B? Notice the key words. They want you to find what the ratio of perimeter A compared to perimeter B is. So we're going to find the perimeter. How do we do that? Well, step one. Make sure you understand what the picture is, the problem is telling you. But if we have the sides, we can find the ratio of the sides. 9 over 12. Simplify it. 3 over 4. And if we remember the pattern, what is the uh, ratio of the perimeter? The exact same thing as the ratio of the side, 3 over 4. I don't even need to know what all the other side lengths are. Kind of neat. All right, well, that's this lesson. That's it. That's all they want you to be able to do. So if you've got any questions, please feel free to give me a call. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.